<laughs> Here's a name I can say from the Eradicator. People of the verse, hello and welcome to this channel. This is the Eradicator and in this video I am going to show you how to cheese your way out of the 890 jump mission. This is one of the brand new missions that have been introduced to Star Citizen with the introduction of Star Citizen of the 3.8 which is the latest, the latest, <laughs> the latest uh, main I would say uh, uh, flagship patch that we have every quarter right. So, uh, first things first, when you get to the 8 net jump, you get greeted by two cutlasses here, two enemy cutlasses, which uh, can actually be quite of a challenge. You guys know that AI has been improved, I mean, it is being improved patch after patch. And in the past, it used to be a piece of cake to dispose of two cutlasses. Now it is getting a little bit more complicated. Now, it's also possible that it is getting a little bit more complicated because I am flying myself a cutlass, and this is not the cutlass black. This is the Cutlass Red, which to me seems, I don't know why, it seems weaker than the Cutlass Black. Or is it because the AI is getting a little bit stronger? It could be that as well. Anyway, trying my best to dispose out of at least one of those Cutlasses so that we can have a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. Because if it's one-on-two, then my shields are going to be depleted quite quickly. And then the hull is going to be exposed to these uh, very dangerous guns that are going to shred my hull into pieces. And of course, I don't want that. So what I'm doing, I'm doing, well, you guys know what I'm doing because you guys have been watching the channel for quite some time. For most of you, I am doing, of course, strategic retreats. Strategic retreats, which allow my shields to charge a little bit more here. Not too much, though, because I don't want their shields to be fully recharged. I just want to have a little bit of shields in front of any these frontal shields here, so that I can take a little bit of uh, not damage, but a little bit of a few hits, uh, which then would also give me an opportunity to hit them where it hurts. Which is again what I'm trying to do. It's all going to be much easier as soon as one of these two is down. We'll keep on trying. Now this is the default loadout of the Cutlass Red, by the way. It's not exactly the same loadout as the Cutlass Black. The Cutlass Black has these two laser guns, but also has two ballistic guns. Uh, here the ballistic guns have been replaced. Oh, there you go. All right, the ballistic guns here have been replaced by the neutron. Uh, the neutron repeaters, which you can see, these are these blue, uh, blue lasers. So they're not really lasers, right? Uh, and now, of course, it is going to be much easier to take down this uh, last cutlass, which I am uh, chasing. So it's a nice, interesting chase here. There you go, eradicated, awarded a thousand alpha UEC. I think the other also gave me a thousand alpha UEC. So I've already made two thousand alpha UEC, which better than nothing right it's going to pay for the ammo later and maybe uh maybe a gun or two depending on uh, how much how many guns you lose when you do this this mission if if you survive right now that's the thing you know i'm flying a cutlass red because uh, i've tried this mission in the ptu and i got absolutely eradicated it was a disaster and uh, well, it give, you know, give me some some vaccine vaccination, right? I had a had a little taste of uh, what it takes to complete this mission. I had a little taste of uh, what I need to eventually have a fighting chance to complete this mission. And I know that this is the kind of mission that if you solo, if you don't have any friends with you, then obviously you are going to die. So that's why I made sure to set those beds here as my respawn points because I know I'm gonna die. <laughs> So, let's go there. You can enter the ship through one of those side doors, which fortunately can open. You don't need any uh, multi-tool to open those doors. They just open. And for some reason, for some reason, both of my guns here have no ammo. I don't know why, <laughs> but still have the arc light. So we'll try to... Uh, open the door here this is the second time ever i'm doing this mission the first time from here so this is going to be a little bit funny here uh, i know that i've seen some 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 footage there's a lot of enemies here so let's see where the baddies oh already being shot here i have no idea from where oh it's coming from behind where you go i've already died i've already died my arc light pistol here is clipping through the floor so i'm not even going to be able to get it back Fortunately, I am back here in the Cutlass Red, so I don't need to 
uh, get back. I still have three minutes here to hold the data transmission. I don't think that I'll be able to make it on time, quite frankly. And this is not even going to... Why don't I have any ammo? This is ridiculous. Gonna have to check out here in the equipment manager what's going on with the ammo. So, weapons... Um... Well, I'm supposed to have some P4... P oh, that's because I have some P4 equipped here. Okay, and none of the ammo... All the ammo is P8. Okay, uh, do I have some P4 here? And I still have a... I still have a... I think that's my gold... It's uh, my gold pistol that I still have. Okay, well... Uh, let's get back in there and we'll try to use the arc light pistol for some reason yeah we've already have uh, we already have uh, five hostiles down this is not because of me that's because there is some security in the ship that are helping me a little bit unfortunately security um, is obviously going to get a little bit overrun by all of those hostiles 20 hostiles is definitely a lot perhaps too much that the security can there I saw an NPC right here let's try to take him down all right, I got shot pretty badly here. Gonna have to use a med pen. Here we go. What's behind the door here? Can I interact with this? Uh, it doesn't seem like I can. Yeah, I, it doesn't seem like I can. What's uh, behind this door? Is it the uh, other side? Yeah, it's the other side. Not interesting. I think I'm supposed to be interacting with this, but I don't know how. So if you guys know, please tell me in the comments down below. That would be really appreciated. Otherwise, well, we'll just try to focus on killing those enemies first. Uh, oh, there's one right here. Well, oh, well, uh, at least I saw where they were. Uh, it's okay. I'm already I'm already gone. You don't need to. That was a little bit overkill from those NPCs. Um, now, the other thing that I wish NPCs could have right now, NPCs don't have any, you know, ammo, uh, ammo restriction. They always have, you know, the same type of gun with unlimited bullets. Uh, there's no real simulation here with the NPCs that tell them, you know, when they have to recharge or when they are getting out of out of ammo. So something that I hope one day uh, we're gonna get in the verse. Unfortunately, most of that was removed from the roadmap, so I don't know when we're going to get that update. Hopefully, we'll have a you know better explanation by Friday. Anyway, back here, let's throw a little grenade and see if the grenade is helping. Boom. No, no, the grenade didn't do anything. We'll see on the other side. There's a, a baddie right here. Let's get out of here. Is the grenade going to do... I, I did hear some noise. I did hear uh, a shrug. But I didn't get the kill. Okay, there's another baddie here. Let's throw the grenade. I still have one grenade. Okay, that's weird. I thought I only had three grenades. But oh, 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 oh. I was not ready for this. I did not expect them to go into the corridor. Looks like we're going to have to fight in the corridor, which, uh, well, is not going to make things uh, easy. So, I have failed to stop the transmission. I don't even know how to uh, how to halt the data transmission. That's okay. We still have enough time to kill all those NPCs. And if I manage to uh, dispose of all of those, uh, how many are there? 14 uh, last NPCs, then uh, it is going to award me. 12,000 alpha UEC, which is not that plus, guys. I'm also having a lot of fun. It's always fun to... Uh, it's a challenge, you know? Can I can I, can I, I succeed this? This is not... Uh, oh, this is not easy. So, uh, I would like my character to get up. Usually, uh, he would get up if... Oh, 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 I think I saw an NPC. He would get up if I press S4 to have the external view. For some reason, it only works if you have the external view. Yeah, there is an NPC right over there some reason they don't seem to be shooting me yeah I still have time to oh, oh, finally well <laughs> okay uh, I suppose I'll be doing this from a good less <laughs> if they were wondering like, maybe they were wondering uh, who is this guy is this the same guy yeah <laughs> Okay, well this is where I'm really glad that I have the cutlass right because I'm obviously dying a lot so it is being very helpful and this is exactly why I told you guys that the cutlass red would be very useful because if you're doing these PvE missions those NPCs are pretty tough you're going to die or should expect to die 
it's great to have a respawn point not too far because it does take time let's say for example even if you respawn at Baijini point just above our corp it takes you about 10 minutes to get there so yeah it's uh it definitely saves a lot of time okay so um, let's check out some weapons still have those p4s here but i only have p8s i have lost all of my arc lights here so this is not going to be easy i still have uh, quite a lot of grenades so here's what is going to be my objective here. I'll try to throw in some grenades and I hope I'll be able to pick up some of their guns. Okay, so they are in the corridor and we can see them. Oh, they're already trying to shoot me, eh? So we'll try to, to throw a, a grenade. Have some of this, my friends. All right, there we go. 12, well, we got two of them here, excellent. Excellent. So since they die, then I should be able to pick up their guns, right? Looks like no one is here. The corridor is clear. Okay, let's pick up. Oh, no. Well, uh, there's still more of them, obviously. Well, uh, let's have another med pen here. And I'll... Oh, that's cool. We can see the med pen floating in space. Oh, I think I see one. Another of these dudes is back in the corridor. That is not going to uh, to help, right? Is he? Oh, no, I can't see anybody. Oh my god, there's three of them. <laughs> that was a little bit overkill once again. Um, they're doing their job. They're doing their job. They're doing a very fine job at making sure the one... <laughs> that no one is getting those 12,000 alpha UEC. Uh, one versus three is not going to be easy, especially if I'm out of guns. But if I have a well-placed grenade, then I should be able to dispose of those three NPCs here. So let's go back. It is not mission impossible. <laughs> and I am really glad that I've got this, uh, this Cutlass Red. Okay, so here we go. Oh, oh, there's uh they are right here. Okay. All right. I think I got 3 of them because now there's uh 9 out of 20, so I killed 3 of those NPCs, those NPCs which were bothering me. We are back at the bed here. Let's lie down. I hope I will be able to treat my injuries before I die. This is going to be a really tight one. Come on, can I click on uh, treat injuries? Yes. Okay, well, it seems like... Uh, all right, back to normal. Excellent. Well, that definitely uh, spared me a, um, a med pen here. So that's great. That's another, of the, that's another use for the Cutlass Red. You know, if you don't want to be spending too much money on med pens, then you can use the bed, which is exactly what I did here. Ah. Uh, uh, Okay, let's press S4 so I can get up, because if I don't press F4, I'm not getting up for some reason. I think that's a bug. And uh, let's try see. Hopefully this time I can pick up one of their guns. Oh, nope. <laughs> How many of those NPCs are there? This is insane. How many of them do I have to kill until I finally get rid of them? So, we are back in the Cutlass Red. I have to wait until I have the option to get up. Here we go. So, let's get up right here. Okay, and... Uh, well, let's try again, then. Let's try again. I still have one grenade, so I'll be throwing that... Ah, oh, yo. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be throwing that grenade at this guy and hopefully that he will die and I will be able to get his good words. Oh, they're right here. I didn't hear the explosion. It does seem like it didn't work for some reason. I still have a grenade. Uh, looks like I was severely hit once again. Let's get back to the bed. Let's lie down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, things are getting uh, black and white. Oh, and I, this time I died. Uh, well, I died uh, happily uh, on my on my deathbed. You know, it's the first time I die on the bed in in Star Citizen. 
Okay, well, <laughs> now just respawn. All right, let's get up. I'm gonna have to find an alternative solution. Du -du 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 -du. Because, guys, no, first, uh, let's go to the movie glass. Come on, is it working? Is it a little bit bug? Oh, here we go, weapons. So, P4, why? Do I have any more grenades? I don't have any more grenades. I'm out of grenades. Hmm. Well, this is not going to be easy if I'm out of grenades. Now, there's another entrance, guys. And this is where we're going. So I want to show you, for those of you who are not familiar with the 890 jump, it turns out that there is a trapdoor. By the way, this is the uh, interior here with the bar and the restaurant. But here there is a hangar, and you can see here that this is the hangar door. Now, that hangar door is closed, and I don't know if there is a way to open it from the outside, at least to open it regularly from the outside. However, there is a, an alternative way to open this from the outside, and I'm going to show you that as I'm going to get back into the Cutlass Red, and this time we'll get into the cockpit of the Cutlass Red. Okay, let's uh, get back inside. A lot of EVA for today. Okay. Oh, excellent. I didn't crash. That's <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't need to close the door. No one is going to come anyway. All right, let's get back into the pilot seat here. And I think I just need to turn on the engines. There we go. Because I had to, I had to turn off the engine. And now we'll be here, just on top. Just, just shoot the door, guys. The shields are, I think the shields are down of the 890 jump. So just shoot the door and you're going to see what happens eventually. There you go. If you shoot the door, eventually the door opens and this is going to give you another opening. So since that corridor over there is a little bit too, I would say, overcrowded, right? Well, in that case, uh, we are going to, to get in, right, from this side. Just, just turn off the engines. You don't need to land on the ship. It's actually going to do more damage than any good. Open the door here, and uh, you'll be able to uh, go in there nice and easy. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of uh, fighting once again. Okay, some of those NPCs are located here. Some corpses here. This is the corpse of the security. Well, obviously, I'm not going to be able to shoot these guys because I don't have any weapons. Well, that was to be expected. However, and this is going to be my plan, if this is the only guy here, maybe it's not, but if this is the only guy here, then what I'll do is I'll go into the cockpit and I'll try to see if I can shoot him from my cockpit. So let's get up. I do have means to dispose of this NPC here. Hopefully, I'll be able to get his gun. So let's get back to the, the cockpit. There's my pilot seat right here. And yeah, let's just press I. Engines online and let's just turn the ship around. Okay, here is the ship here. Here's the 890 jump. And we'll try to see where those uh, hostiles are. All right, well, they are shooting at me, which is revealing their position. That is not very smart. I have a 9 out of 20 left. I will wait until I'm at 8. And when I am at 8 out of 20, then I'll be able to uh, get this gun. Looks like I am also damaging that 300 eye that is inside the cockpit. Let's just wait. He's still fighting. He's still fighting. He's still firing at me. Uh, and there we go. We killed that guy. 8 out of 20. So I'll be positioning the ship once again. Nice and easy. Let's have a uh, just above that door here. Now this is where you are. You probably need to use the external view. It is definitely helpful. And yeah, go trying to position the ship as well as possible. I think that this should be okay. All right, turn it off the engines and uh, we'll get back in. So that NPC is dead there. So let's get straight to where it was and I'll try to get his gun. 
Hopefully that was the... Oops. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Just uh, badly landed here. Where am I? Where am I? I'm going to have to press F4. I am just under the 300i. Okay, there's the corpse right here. Uh, so where is the gun? No, that's not his corpse. That's somebody else. That's that's Aventador. General Aventador from the Metadors. Oh no, he's dead. Well, that's too bad. Ah, there's the gun right here. Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Please, 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 please. This is going to save. Oh, yes. Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh, and I have uh, 180 bullets. Oh, yeah, because that's a P8. It's a P8, and that these are the, the weapons that, I, that I'm equipped with. Okay, this is great. Oh, this is going to be very helpful. All right, so uh, here we have... I think that we're in a cool quarter here. So we saw some pools. I think that this is the battle room here. This is like the, the lounge where the crew uh, can, can have a good time. Uh, we are the kitchens right here. Yeah, this is the kitchens. Uh, lots of stuff here that are unfortunately diseased. And here looks like we have... I think this is the cargo hall. Yeah, it looks like this is the cargo hall. Oh, we got some uh, NPCs here, some hostiles. Let's uh, call the elevator. All right, let's go. This is called the crew deck. That's where we are. Let's go to the engineering. Here we go. Where is... Okay, this is where the entrance is. Looking very futuristic here. We're going to have an opening, and the NPCs should be here. This is where we're going to have a little bit of slaughter. There's right there in the head. More. Yeah, it looks like there were three of them. All right, good. Down to six. Let's run right here. Oh, 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 oh. Well, uh, at least I took a, a few, uh, a few of them down with me, right? So we're going to spawn once again in the Cutlass Red, and look at that. Now there's four out of twenty. So we've made some pretty good progress here. Okay, let's get up. Let's get up, and uh, well, this time I'm out of guns, unfortunately. Gonna have to try to see if there's a. Oh, oh, oh that is a, a pretty bad crash once again. Yeah, landing here in the 890 jump is not always easy. Let's um, have to press S4 to uh, to get back. All right, hopefully uh, I'll be able to find some guns from some of those corpses. Uh, General Aventador doesn't have any, unfortunately. I think it's that security. No, that's not security. I'm always confused about who is security and who is not. So here, no gun. That is security here. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to go back to where I was and I'll try to get my gun back. Oh. I wish that there was some kind of weapon cache in the A90 jump. That would definitely help or at least that those NPCs here would have some you know that we could maybe loot them and find some weapons in case you know you lose them as well yeah this is the battle uh, battle room we don't need to go there those NPCs are back here okay let's call the elevator we'll try to get uh, one of the P8s very discreetly let's go back to engineering Hopefully, uh, I'm not going to die because it does take a while to get back to the engineering room. Okay, let's get back. I hope that I'll be able to have enough time to pick up the gun. Hello. Come on, come on, come on. Why is it not working and I'm being sh... Ah, you all... Well, the angle wasn't good. I've got at least two of them trying to shoot me from there. All right. All right. Gonna have to uh, try to think of a better strategy here because obviously this is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. And I know the situation is dire. I am out of guns. I'm out of weapons. 
I have no more grenades. But I'm not giving up. I still have a knife. I still have a knife. And you bet that uh, if I can kill some of those with my knife, you know, bare hands, then I'll do it, right? So let's go back. I know where they are. And uh, I think that there's only two of them here because the last two are at the deck where I used to be and I eventually gave up. So that's where they ought to be. Okay, there's one right here down the uh, escalator. There's two of them here, actually. Oh, they can see me very well. Ah, yo. I'll try to uh, get to the other side since they are over here. Maybe they'll try to uh, follow me here. Uh, on that uh, on that top catwalk, so maybe if I go down here, uh, it will lure them away, and I'll be able to pick up the gun. That's my plan here. If, of course, I don't die, which is uh, not something I've already said. I've left the channel. Yeah. All right. Oh well, this is not going to be easy. This is not going to be easy. But we'll try. We'll try. So back in the cutlass red. Actually, I'm really enjoying this, guys. I don't know uh, I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I'm really enjoying this. It's emerging gameplay, you know? Value-added gameplay. Hashtag Vag, guys. Because this was not how this... Oh, 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 what's going on? <laughs> this was not how the game was supposed to be supposed to be played. You're not supposed to, to do this alone. You're supposed to come here with friends, maybe with a group of three and four people, and eventually try to... Uh, try to... Uh, slaughter your way into into the main deck and prevent the, the database from being hacked, right? But, oh, oh, looks like uh, there's two of them right here. Okay, so this is the, the battle room. I'm obviously not going to get uh, anything here. Hmm, and they're not they're not coming. They're staying at their position. So eventually, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to get to them. No, they are not opening the door. All right, let's try. Is there anything here? I don't think the energy gym has a uh, has a medical bed. I wonder if I can get healed though. Okay, well they are right here. I think it's, uh, I need to press 5 to get the knife, right? Well, here goes uh, nothing. Okay, I'm going to press... Looks like they're not shooting him because they're both here. They don't want to kill each other. That's great. Let's press 5 and let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's stab them. <laughs> hey, it's working. I got one. And there's the second one. Oh, this is awesome. There we go. I'm going to see if I can get a gun. Can I equip this? Oh yeah, let's press R. I think, all right, good, 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 good. Just on time. Just on time, okay, that's great. Gonna see if I can get some extra equipment before I take care of the last two. There we go, two out of 20. I'm gonna have to get back to the deck eventually, but now I'm gonna have some, uh, some weapons which are definitely going to be a big plus. Um, pressing uh, pressing 2 here it doesn't seem like I have any actually did I just die? okay, just randomly died <laughs> alright uh, well I'm glad I didn't have guns actually because I would have lost them so let's get up oh no, 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 no where am I? what is going on? I think I clipped uh I clipped through the ship. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally, literally inside the ship. That's not gonna work. I think there's a toilet here in front. Oh no. Yeah, this is not good. I, I pressed backspace. Uh, I pressed backspace. <laughs> this is not gonna, gonna work. Okay, well, we're gonna try again. I'm gonna try again, and uh, hopefully this time I'm not gonna die, right? So let's click on get up. I don't know, how, guys. I don't know how many times I did that. If you, if 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 any of you are still here watching this video, uh, and if you counted how many times I died, please tell me because I, I I would really like to 
to know. Okay, so we're back there. I think I'm, I'm knowing the way very well now. Okay, we're here. This is great because I'm, I'm getting to know how the 890 gem is built. And then when they say those big ships are like FPS levels, this is so true. It's exactly like an FPS level. Except that, well, this time I'm, I'm playing solo against NPCs. Okay, here's the P8. All right, let's pick it up. Equip. Great. 45 bullets with another 135. Can I pick up the other one here? Uh, looks like for some reason it's throwing the other, the other as well. Why is that? Let's see. Oh, that's because those uh, those weapons here, those P4s, are equipped. What if I unequip them? If I unequip a P4, can I get another P8? I think that's the P8, right? <sighs> oh no, they're not interactable. Really? Ah, CIG. CIG, you need to fix those bugs, seriously. Apparently, so I can go down here. I didn't know I could go down here. I didn't need to take the elevator. This is definitely quicker, obviously. So there's quite a lot here. There's at least six NPCs here. Come on, let's equip this. Okay, great. Look at that. 180 bullets now. Cool. So here we have this thing here. And that's pretty much it. Oh, there's a floating gun that we could see. <laughs> Those cranes here are not working. All right, fair enough. Now, where is this taking us here? We've got another of those engineering bays. Is this an elevator? Yeah, it is an elevator. And let's go back to the crew deck. I think it's going to take me exactly where I was, right? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I was. All right. Fair enough. So let's see. I think that there's an elevator here. Yeah, this elevator is going to get me back to where I wanted to go. How do we open this? Oh, there's the button. Of course, press the button. And next, we are going to go to... Let's go to the spa. Maybe there's an NPC there. All right, let's go to the spa and see if there's uh, anybody here. Oh, looks like uh, we've got some uh, people who like, were enjoying the swimming pool. That was their last mistake. This is the sauna here. We're having some rooms. Okay, okay, this is where I was. There should be some... Uh, oh, there he is, right here. Oh, there's that, that glass. Gonna have to wait until... Pull that glass. There you go. Take this. There's only one to go. I am one NPC away, guys. One NPC away until finally getting those 12,000 Alpha UEC. Longest 12,000 Alpha UECs ever, but... Yeah, it was worth it. Especially, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do this more effectively in the future. Oh, 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 there, you see, yeah, it is, it's just right there. So let's take him down. There you go. Take this. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I think I can see objective complete. All right, great. We made it, guys. We made it. Uh, we also avoid friendly fire, but there's no money for that. And we completed the mission. Am I going to get paid? Am I going to get paid? Are we going to get a 12,000? Yes, awarded 12,000 Alpha UEC. Wonderful. This is excellent. That's what I was looking for, guys. And I think that I'm going to die here. So that's all we'll be doing. There you go. <laughs> so thank you so much for this, uh, for watching this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed uh, this uh, little uh, tutorial on how to cheese the 890 jump mission. If you're alone, if you have no more weapons. Well, when there is a will, there is a way. And I hope that you find it inspiring and that you'll be able to do it eventually. Uh, so please tell me in the comments down below. Have you tried doing the 890 jump mission? Were you better than me? Have you tried to stop the, the data hacking please tell me everything i'd like to know 
And now, guys, it's time to talk. Up, it's time to talk about the giveaways. Hello and welcome to this channel, everybody. This is the Eradicator, and it's giveaway time. So to kick off this year, we are starting with another double giveaway, which is something that is being made possible thanks to the amazing people who support me on the crowdfunding website Patreon. And this is why this first giveaway that I will be mentioning here will be the Patreon's exclusive giveaway, and then we'll talk about the YouTube giveaway. So here we go. This month, I am giving away first to my Patreon supporter and RSI. Ursa Rover. I chose this vehicle because it is perfect to explore Macrotech and its new environment and was even featured during the CitizenCon demo. All you need to do to get a chance of winning is to click on the link below to this channel's Patreon page. Pledges start at a dollar a month and heavily support this channel. Patreons also get access to my Discord, can get their submitted questions answered during the show, and I will soon be announcing a series of videos that will be for Patreons only, so it might be interesting to have a look. Also, to everyone who supports me on YouTube and smashed that subscribe button already, then I've got something for you too. I am giving away my very last Legionnaire LTI game package, which includes an Aurora Legionnaire with LTI, Star Citizen, and Squadron 42. Perfect if you are an Aurora lover, want an LTI token, or if you own if you don't own the game at all. All you need to do to get your sense of winning is to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment to any videos posted this month. The winner will be announced early next month, so good luck to everybody. And that's all for this quick video. Thank you very much again for your support. It really means the world to me, and I will see you tomorrow for more Star Citizen content. This is the Eradicator. I am signing out.